party people who are not present, comma. We're gonna try to run a mini dash session and get y'all healed and in safety. Comma, unless anyone objects. Okay, uh, da -da -da -da. in that case, give me a second here, scrap paper. <laughs> Roaming monsters list. Monsters in layer list. Uh, let's see. DM screen. DMG. Unearthed Arcana. PHB. Monster Annual 1. Monster Annual 2. Fiend Folio. Creature. I don't know if it'll work. I, I don't know. Uh, Eight. Open DM map. Opened. Full screen. Zoom on out. Zoom in on party's location. The shade for us, Noble Town. There it is. There's the party. There's Oasis. OBS is open, recording black screen on my command. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, if I remember correctly, I tried to do settings, prefix, comma, and yeah, it's not accepting that, so. Eh, alright. Didn't I make a list? I did. Hello, hello? Oh yeah, Aiden, this might be loud. That's the bard. Okay. <clears throat> uh, let's get Clyde in here. I swear I never get it right the first time. There's Clyde. Okay, let's get YouTube. And YouTube is recording. Okay, so party people, give me a second. Let me look at timeline. Semi half session on a day I wasn't expecting it, but I think we can do it. Day 102, roughly 1.15 p.m. The party is about 300 feet east of the temple. Oh, my bad. Uh -huh. 120 tens of yards would be 3,000 feet. Okay. <laughs> okay, at this point in Chrome, we do reload and redose your crossbow. <laughs> yes. Where now, are we? About 120 tens of yards to the east of the uh, place where y'all fought the set, the Cystic, which is this temple to this dragon. Okay. The Cystic have retreated inside, and it does not appear the dragon is flying around anymore. Uh, last I checked, we had already moved their bodies back down to the wagon and had taken off. Yeah, no, that's the point. You're 120 tens of yards. Like, if this was on a battle map, that'd be 120 squares away. So you're moving away at this point. Yes, we are Who moving. is driving? Yes, this is important. Who is driving, and what is where? Okay, I imagine Vi would be driving one wagon, Cassie the other. We right. have three wagons. Shit. Uh, is John capable of drive, driving the third? Well, I'm gonna have to use my other foot to hit the gas pedal, but yeah. Yes, John can do it. Okay. <laughs> he's a bit uh, wavery on being alert, awake, but he's alive. For now. Okay. But what wagons do we have the bodies on? Ooh. Well, do we want to have Autumn on wagon one, Peter on wagon two, Vasa and Greg on wagon three with John? Who's Sounds good. Not on this formation. We could just here. put them on one the wagon. Their bodies. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, is the party bringing back the bodies the Link Boys are leaving them there? I think I forgot to ask this. Yeah, I'll bring them back to you. Alright, uh, so yes, uh, this is not something you need a perception check for. Uh, the bodies appear mostly intact, but there are parts of it where the skin has been eaten away. As if it was diseased. Oh. Nope, 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 nope. Which Vi, one? Both you've in? heard about miasma exposure. It's not contagious. Oh. In that case, yeah, bring them back. Okay. It used to be a lot faster, though. This, this is, like, impressive. Like, it used to be if you stuck your fingernail out of the thing for more than, like, a half a second, that happened to it. These guys have been out of miasma for at least a few minutes, and that's all that's happened. <laughs> now, Chromid, you, of course, are not a native. You don't know about what miasma exposure exactly does, because, well, it doesn't do that to you. All right. So, Party, how fast are you all moving? And I know you're moving directly to Oasis. Yeah, directly to Oasis. We're going to go for two and a half miles an hour. Okay. Uh, two and a half miles per hour from Oasis to Dare. Let me go figure that out. At 2.5 equals... How many hours right, of track? There we go. So, party, you all set off. And let's see, anything new? Okay, good. I will and start. Dungeon Master, I will be using my spy spyglass occasionally, as we've established. But I will check behind us a bit as well. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, party. You make it about 10 or 15 minutes away, and you do hear this roar coming from behind y'all, like going across the desert. I'm assuming, you know, you all turn and look back, and the horses, you yeah. know, they're skittish, and so on and so forth. You don't see the dragon, but you hear it. It did not sound happy that y'all walked off. Okay. Tell the party to keep going, and instead of being the tip of the spear, I'm going to take the drag position. Duly noted. Okay. Now, obviously, this will impact you trying to look ahead with the spyglass. You can't, really. Right, but I can look behind us and up. Yep. Oops, fuck me. Drop my dice. And I will be listening carefully for the sound of those wing beats. Mm -hmm. uh, spoiler for a dragon that big, it's not something you have to strain to hear usually when it's close. But when it's far away, maybe. So, yeah. Good thinking. Okay, first hour. Second hour. Third hour. Fourth okay, hour. if we get two hours and the dragon hasn't got up to us yet... But I'm gonna go back to the front of the party. Do you know <laughs> You'll move back to the front of the party after two hours have commenced. Okay. And let's see what we got in the encounter table. <laughs> and so, Dungeon Master, I've had two hours? Yes, so uh, Ikaromi, you'll have had the first two hours. You can mark up 12 hit points. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. Okay. I mean, I actually did forgot you just reminded me. I'm feeling like a d20, then figure it out from there. One, two, three. Do I want to throw the sand dragon? Nah, I'm going to reroll. You get the sand dragon way too often. It roams the desert eternally in endless hunger. Let's see. Well, maybe it should go eat the giant blue dragon. Maybe then it won't feel fucking hungry. <laughs> the dragon flies. <laughs> huh. Okay. All right. Let me figure out directionality from the party. Huh. Okay. So, Kurumi, I assume you are still taking a po uh, making a point of looking behind you all occasionally. Yes. Okay. And let's see, so you've already marked up the hit points for two hours of this. What direction is it headed? Okay. How frequently are you checking behind you? About every 30 minutes. About every 30 minutes. Okay. Thank you. Oh, lucky you. Okay. Uh, so let's see, that's another hour and 50 minutes of healing for you. 
which is another six plus five is eleven hit points, as it will have been three hours and fifty-two minutes since the party did a thingy. Becomes a that, becomes a that, becomes a that. So yeah, and the Dungeon Master, mm -hmm. Dungeon Master, at one point where I've stopped to use the Spyglass, I'm going to cast that other Stone Skin spell. All right, duly noted. Mark that up. Okay. So that only took a segment. Yeah, it shouldn't take long. Jazeel can keep up. <laughs> so, yes, party. Yakrormi gave me a d20 perception check. I rolled a two. I think okay. that does. Yeah, Chromied, as you pull out your spyglass to look around, you see in the distance, quite a fair bit away, you literally got it on the nose just as it was like, oh, hey, this is easily visible. Uh, there is a wyvern. It is flying due south from where you are, not on a collision course with the party. You're not certain if it's seen the party or not. It's quite a fair okay. bit away. Call it maybe 3,000 feet just in terms of lateral distance, not counting its horizontal distance, at vertical distance as well from the ground. Okay. I will watch it. All right. Well, the wyvern will continue to hunt southward. Okay. What a place to get in that 20. Okay. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Are you doing anything to, to it? No, I'll make sure the rest of the party saw it, though. Yeah, right, you'll point it out, they'll notice it, and get their various preparations on, at least for the NPCs. Vi, Akromi points out this thing. Are you doing anything special? Nope. <laughs> okay. Uh, in that case, if no one's going to do anything special, this thing will continue flying south. Okay. Alright, the party continues onward. But I else. will take note of the direction it is flying. Duly noted. All right, bye. Okay, a double and on means no encounters for that rest of that third, fourth hour. Five. You're fucking kidding me. <laughs> yeah? Hmm? You were saying? I, I just pick up. Forty-four would be another. Ah, fuck it, I'm not doing math. I'm just gonna make it fifty minutes. No, actually, it's fifty-two. That's perfect. Okay. Fifty minutes, you say? Yeah, it's gonna be another fifty minutes at this point. And let me see what you got. Four. It's right between the sand dragon and the wyvern. Those hit points are coming up. Yeah, that would be the ring of regeneration. Huh. Okay, this will be a non-encounter, because I assume the party isn't going to be kicking up the... Like, you're having in the straight direction to Oasis, correct? Right. Yeah, so these giant centipedes that are burrowed under the ground are not in your path directly, and since y'all aren't trampling around in a big old line, they aren't going to surface and bug y'all. So, non-encounter. Sound good? Or do y'all want to play with the giant centipedes? Nah. Okay. Moving forward. Nothing else for that hour. So that becomes. Da, 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 da. So I ended up being the one who got cussed at Jay. Is... Jay and I have had our issues. Aiden, can you go push the talk? That's a lot of background noise coming from you. Thank you. Okay, that was five hour mark. It is becoming evening. The party is starting to get hungry. Is the party going to be stopping for dinner before the sun sets? About how much farther do I believe it is to Oasis? Okay, at this point it would be that many hours there. Uh, about how much further at your current thing? About 10 miles? You, you can actually kind of see it. This part of the desert is surprisingly flat. So you can spear ahead and it's like, oh, yep, there's that walled thingy that could be Oasis. Or is that a mirage? Pretty sure it's Oasis. Hmm. Do we yeah. ha still have our continual light stones or no? The ones the NPCs had, y'all didn't ask to get them, but I'll give you a gimme if you wanted to grab them back since they probably would have kept it on the cart or something. So yeah, you've got those. Okay. 
quiet. I was under the assumption that after they died, the cystic just ran back the wagons. Eh, funny enough, they left him alone because the DM is nice and giving you a gimme. Okay. They they tortured your guys and stole their magic crystal, but that's it. All right. What do you think, Lydia? Because. We're ten miles, what we believe to be ten miles away. I'm still in good shape, though, right? Yeah, she's perfectly fine. But it's Cassie and John back there. John suffered extreme blood loss. Yeah, and he's they probably need, white right now. They need to get rest. And Cassie, she's not a hundred percent, but she's decent. But she also suffered a lot of blood loss. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah, Dungeon Master, we'll stop before nightfall. Okay. So, we'll take care of the animals, uh, make food, that kind of thing. John just kind of leans on over in the thing and says he doesn't feel like trying to crawl out into a bedroll. He's just going to sleep on the wagon. And, you know, Cassie kind of slaps him. Nope, get up, you're moving. Because he's still in his split mail and can't sleep in it. I need you at full, that means get out of your split mail. I'm not dressing you. Come on. So, uh, John is painfully working his way on easing his way out of it. Huh, that's a good point. There's probably a magical spunk nail boot over in that temple now. Fuck it, I'm gonna add it to the loot pile. Oh. <laughs> we didn't grab his swords, did we? By, uh, the DM being nice, you grabbed all the shit, other than the boot. <laughs> Like, the normal shit. The sword. Yeah. Uh, no, I meant, like, when, like, Greg fell and when John fell, like, did, did they Realistically, they should have let go of their swords and you wouldn't have grabbed it, but I'm being nice and letting you have it. And that they have I'm it. pretty sure Greg definitely didn't have it because, you know, they were holding on to his arms. He probably didn't have it in his hand. Alright, fine. I'll mark it off the thing. Uh, one XP I'm trying for... to be fair here. 1 XP for fairness. Zoop. Bye. Can you keep watch for a few minutes? I need to do something. I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who can stand watch. Okay. So while Bye is keeping watch, I am going to uh, break out the crystal ball, Dungeon Master. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to try and scry on that uh, Aranea that mm -hmm. uh, I gave the stone skin to so long ago when he came along on the trip with us. Right. Huh, I need to check that. Give me a second. 91. I mean, you've seen this person. I don't know if it's well-known personally, but 91 should be good. Let me double-check. Crystal ball. Zoop. To here. Crypto hypnosis ball. Duly noted. Give me a second. Okay, the subject is personally known slightly. The chance of locating is 85% versus personally had, well known. I have had telepathy yeah. with this guy before. <laughs> so that's the question. Is it well known or slightly known at that point? Huh. I don't actually know. Uh, other DMs? Thoughts? Like, obviously you've met them. You've seen them. But they're spikes. Yeah, I... <laughs> I, I can't say, because I'm obviously biased. Yeah, so. Grills, you're capable of separating meta wanting from actual thingy. You've, you've judged before. Okay, uh, then double M, split the difference. Alright, the difference is 15, so half of that would be 7. So that would be a failure on 92.5. Or 91.5, okay. and a success on 91. You know what? That that makes me happy enough, I'm gonna go with it. Good, good, good idea, Grills. Okay. <laughs> that half point of difference that that did it for you so yes uh, as we discussed they're behind you they can't travel as fast as the horse-drawn thingies at two and a half miles per hour consistently but yeah they've been obliterating their tracks and yours okay communicate with him that uh they they can either flee to my keep and enjoy my hospitality or they can go to that cave but whatever they do, they should not go directly home unless they're absolutely certain that they're obliterating their tracks. 
Okay. They will accept your I have one question. Offer. Didn't didn't they unload their volley of magic missiles? Yep. And then they cast invisibility. Did they have it learned again? Yeah, if you remember, actually, Vi, you loaned them the book to rememorize. Yeah, it they learned it and then casted it. Did they relearn it again? Yep, and that was incorporated in the time. Okay. All right. Yeah, so wish them good luck on their journey back. And uh... they'll inquire what your plans are. Do you, like, we're obviously either going back to your keep for the time being or so forth, but after that, we're probably going to regroup and. After what happened, I'm not sure if we'll be heading back out again. Yeah, I'll give them the brief that I'm trying to get the wounded to Oasis for their safety. And I may have to get uh, some more wagon guards and stuff. And we're going to have to reload on our spells before I can make the next attack. Okay. So they might stop by your keep first and wait a few days, or by the K first and wait, but they will head home eventually. Okay. They appreciate your concern for the tribe. All right, that's taken care of. Okay. Now, when I finish contact with him, I'm going to make contact with the queen real quick. Okay. Let's see if you make... Oops. You will successfully contact the queen. <laughs> okay. All the normal pleasantries, and I will ask her how many children does she have? She is going to inquire first that she assumes the attack was not successful. <laughs> Not completely. There were more cystic than before. But they have been decimated again. Unfortunate. I assume you intend to have me send my entire tribe then? No. But I do know to wish your numbers. And I'll ask her if she is familiar with the workings of a crossbow. We have one of those, but we haven't really wanted to use it. it. Interferes with spell work, and none of mine are very good with it. Hmm. Yes. Let's see. Other than the three you had there, our tribe numbers eighteen and myself, including 18. the three with you. Oof. Okay. I'll let her know with that I what I told the other three, and that they are well so far, and. Uh, Yes. I will see about some improvements. Anyhow, we, we have many injured and a few dead. The next attack will not be within the next few days, at least. And yeah, with that dungeon master, unless she has something else to communicate to me, I'll terminate the contact. No. No other requests on her end. Uh, you, you can sort of sense she's concerned in general. It's like, oh, shit. Poked at a dragon. Didn't kill it. A risk that was calculated, but we were hoping it would go the other way. But understandable. All we right. will just chip away at its, its units of cystic till there's nothing left. We've already killed the queen. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> in fact, right at that about point, the there can't be me now. Doing now. This. Okay. Anyhow, stash my crystal ball away. Tell uh, Vi and Cassie about my contact with the Aranea, so that, you know, Aranea, yeah, Aranea. Uh, our, our allies escaped well enough. Okay. And... Okay. Vi will ask her for me how much, well, Mistwalker... How much time he needs to relearn spells? A big chunk. We're better off getting the party to Oasis first. John asks if he can, uh, well, rather than asking, he's saying, hey, uh, maybe it's the missing leg, maybe it's the blood loss. I'm fairly sure I'm about to pass out. Not yeah, for, not dying, just tired. I need to rest. John, so. sleep. So well, yeah, I am, I'm only asking so if I can pray so I can uh, do some healing here. Vi, Point is, yes, by all means. John's got I the will... minimum off his armor to be able to sleep comfortably and leaned up against his bedroll or whatever. He's passing out just as the Vi, exhaustion goes. If I pray, I will take first watch. Yeah, Cass is offering, of course, it's to... going to be me and you doing watch drive. 
Well, I mean, that's fine. That's important. Cassie will take second watch. Mm-hmm. Vi, you healed me up well enough. Obviously, it's not perfect, but it will do. I'll manage. I've got my sword. I'll be fine. <clears throat> so, yeah. <laughs> okay. Vi, uh, let's see. This is at this point here. I'm gonna go for a couple. Of, yep. I'm gonna go for a couple of drags real quick. Okay. All right. Eminem, how yeah. dark is it? Like how early? Okay, I'm assuming the party. Well, I need to double check when the party stopped. I'm gonna assume that they did it maybe a half hour before sunset. So the conversation and stuff occurs. Y'all get unloaded. Call it 20 minutes before sunset. Y'all eat 15 so minutes or 10 p.m. before. Uh, the sun comes around 8 p.m. I did Denali a very silly. It, the sun rises every day at 7 and sets every night at 8. Uh, I know, it breaks your brain. Yeah, and I was kind of hoping to uh, get a little bit more hours in for casting spells and then praying for spells back. Yeah. That's gonna, that's gonna I mean, if you want, you can ask to stop earlier and I'll allow it. I want to work with y'all here. I'm. By the way, Aiden... I'm, I want to say this was a good idea, getting this done here and now, so thank you for that. For what I want to do, we'd have to stop at 6. It's 5.45. If I intend to um, pump all of five healing into one person, then pray for another hour and 15 minutes, get that back, and then pump that into the castle. All right, well, uh, you can stop at 6 if you'd like, because that's when, I, when the last thing was. Like, when I was like, okay, so party, it's another two hours, so I'll let y'all have that two hours leeway if you want to stop at six. Yes, please, thank you. Okay, now this will, of course, alter your distance, because that becomes a there. It becomes a that, actually. And, and of course, I'm going to ask Jazeel if he's staying around tonight. Uh, let's see, Jazeel will nod, yeah, given how it's so few of you. Now, Jazeel's idea of staying around is he'll be asleep, but he'll be there if something needs to be... Okay. Like, unless you specifically want to try and convince him to go on watch, in which case, try it in session. Uh, by the way, for the sake of a strategy Vi has, y'all are going to stop a bit sooner so that Vi has daytime hours to cast some spells, unless you'd really like to object to that, Grills. Nah, I'm fine with that. Okay, so your, your distance is a little bit further back. Make that 10 miles closer to 11, but this way y'all yeah. have time. So, Vi, you will get those hours worth of four Cure Light Wounds is back. I will... Hmm. Hmm. Oh, so an hour went by? Awesome. Hey, Aiden, roll me a D100, please. I'm not going to tell you what you want. So, okay, Cassie thank you. Is going to Double odd. I said Aiden, but thank you, girls. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know if this is meant to be good or bad. I kind of want to take the 100, but at the same time, I kind of don't. I don't so you wanted do. low, both of you, and you didn't get nothing. Okay. Sorry. I was rolling to see if you were going to get the slightly better Cure Light Wounds, which is a D8 plus one. Oh, you did okay. not. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm pumping all five of my healing spells in the castle. All right. Here's a hint. If you want to fill her up to full, just do all five. <laughs> She's a high enough level fighter. She's got the hit points. You'll need all five to get a chip in. That's, that's what I said. I'm pumping all five. All right. So, oh, D2. Oh, I thought that was a D8. My bad. So go ahead. No, and that's do... a D2. I rolled to see if it was going to be John or Cassie first. All right. Well, Cassie will accept the healing. No false chivalry of, oh, no, do the injured first. It's like, yeah, no, beef me the fuck up. Oh, refresh my memory. Did Peter die? Peter is currently no. unconscious, but he is breathing. And okay. he did not have, like, a punctured lung or something like John had. Okay. If you had a nickel for... That is oh, a, shit! That is eight iterations of a D8, not five. Oh, oh it's at the shit, first sorry. five. One, yeah, two, this... three, four, five becomes sorry. ten. Eighteen plus five becomes a twenty-three plus seven becomes an even thirty. Nicely done. Yeah, the last three can be ignored. I'm sorry, mm-hmm. I didn't mean to hit eight. You're good. You could also have just done uh, five die eight. Right. Yeah, Cassie's mm-hmm. looking much better. If you triage her, she's now close to 50%. Right. 
My woman is beef. Um, now let's see. There was a thing I wanted to say, but I've forgotten it. I, I had something on my mind, but yeah, no, it's right. good. An hour and 15 minutes for five pure light wounds. Okay, you will start praying. You'll get the first hour of those done. Akromid, you're keeping watch during this time, I assume? You've got yes, John kind of passed out after eating half a ration. Cassie, uh, let's see, it's still morning time. At, well, not morning. This is still the evening, heading into nighttime. So Cassie's still up, kind of a little too wired, and she'll help keep watch with you. Jaziel kind of finds a place and does that thing horses do when they rest. <laughs> Are you just laying down, or is he just... I, I don't know how horses sleep, and I don't know well, how Jaziel sleeps. They can sleep standing up, they can sleep laying down, it's just whatever he feels like. But he is laying plate now, though. Mm -hmm. So he's probably like half kneeled down type of deal. He can fly, so it's not that hard for him. But flying is a bit like running. It exerts energy. He doesn't do it all the time. Okay, well, if we're still in daylight, and Cassie is good to keep watch, mm -hmm. then I'm going to get some spells memorized. Okay, so, Ikromid, you can have two hours with the spell memorization, which should about top you off, right? Oh, hell. Okay, let me let me figure it as I do it. Right. I'll let you figure it as you do it while I work with Vi here. Two, three, that's, uh, four. That's fuck. 12 minutes. Ten. 11. Okay, so that's when I have to start checking. 15, 18. Uh, Give me a second, Aiden. 18. That's pretty good time. 24. Oh, yeah. Uh, fucking hell. Wait, what did you last get? Yeah, you'll also get two hours worth of hit point. No, wait, hold on. Yeah, two hours worth of hit points back to a crow means so that's another... 24 and 24 is 48. And then 12 more is an I hour. Oh, well. Okay, Vi, you'll get that hour 15. Alright. Pumping these into... I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Yeah, Goodbye. it's gonna be Cassie again gonna be Cassie again. Cassie will suggest, hey, you've healed me enough, do it on, like, Peter or John, get them up so that we have an extra sword in the fight. But if you're insistent, I'm not gonna say no. Well, she actually hits things. She do. So you're doing it to Cassie? Mm-hmm. Okay, dice it. 23. Alright. 23 more points of hit. Yes. Amazingly, she's still not full, as I'm sure you figured out. Triage. Roughly, roughly three quarters. It's not exact. It's a bit more, actually. Yeah. Uh, 75%? Yeah, roughly 75%. Okay. And another hour and 15 minutes. Okay, now, Vi, if I remember correctly, you're a second-level cleric? Third yeah, level. Check. Third level, okay. So I believe you have five of those slots, actually, since you've been using them. So this is probably going to be, like, your last round of healing. You'll be mm -hmm. able to memorize before you got rest your brain. So probably the next yeah. hour 15 should pass. Yeah, it passes. Okay, so that's seven more. Awesome. All right. I will use some on Peter. I don't know how much I'll need on him, so I'm going to do three first. All right, well, denote it, and let's do it. <clears throat> 14, 14 total. points of healing on yonder Peter. Triage. Peter wakes up. Six! And he goes for his sword. And, oh, where are y'all? Where are, where, what? All right, calm down, calm down. We're going to Oasis, but we're, we're spending the night in the desert. We just needed to get you up. Oh, oh my god, I had the most horrible dream about snakes. And he calms down, and you're able to do a triage, and without doing the math... No, oh, fuck it, I'm going to do the math now. It actually should be an even percent, funny enough. 40%? Yeah, that checks out. That's 40%. Oh. <sighs> Fucking snakes. Hissing. I'll put... I'll put two in the John. Alright, 
Uh, you go over to John, who is just kind of sleeping. John. Well, I mean, Peter failed was in his the back perception of his wagon, on so Peter I didn't have to move much. Yeah. And well, Dungeon Master, hopefully Cassie is sleeping by now since she's getting second watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, once night falls, we'll be like, okay, like one of y'all is, like, once one of y'all is done with your spells. 12 points 12 of healing John. onto the Johnny. John King. He's at 50%. He right. remains asleep, but he's breathing a lot easier now. Uh, he was at zero hit points. <laughs> Poor guy. You bound his wounds from negative one to zero. He managed to okay. wake up in absolute agony. But you said I wouldn't be able to pray for another set to you. Not to you, but just pray to get him back. No, nope. at oh, this okay. point Going you've exhausted your first level spells. Unless you would like to try and pray for a second level spell. I still have all my second level spells. I never get to use them. Mm, rip. Alright, in that case, Vi, weary and brain is a rung out sponge you will collapse well not collapse you'll go over to your sleeping thing and go to sleep all right uh so yes a crow made we need to figure out your hit points uh well you told hours. her an hour and 15 minutes so i figured Twice. seven more hit points yeah Twice. yeah mm -hmm. so yeah so With 14 this... total yeah for a total of 14 after you all stopped that puts us at this time okay Okay, what? what time did we start? Okay, so you started your healing praying stuff I did at 6 p.m. It has no, been... No, no. What, what time was it when session started on World? On World, it was 1.15 p.m. And what time is it now? That's what I'm trying to figure out, because we're kind of in two spots here. We stopped at 6 p.m., and we moved on now to about 8-something p.m., Okay, so about seven hours? About. Uh, six times seven is 42. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. My math is good. You're not at full, or are you? Yeah. <laughs> that makes life a lot easier for me. So yeah, Koromid, you're done with your spell work, because that took you, what, less than two hours? Less. It took me right at an hour. Right oh, at an hour. An hour and no. uh, five minutes. So, sequence of events, it's like an hour before sunset, you'll eat dinner. Cassie was keeping watch, but she'll ask if she can turn a little bit early since you're done with yeah. your spells, you'll let her. Vi finishes your spells, wakes up the appropriate people, Peter has bad dreams about snakes, John heals up. And yes, that oh. will be about an hour into your watch, Akuramid, which is starting after the sun sets, so about 9pm is the current time now. Okay. Snakes. I will, of course, uh, as is my habit when I keep watch, stay out of the firelight and move silently in a counterclockwise direction. Okay. I'm not sure if we even made a fire. Well, I know we were doing a cook fire. I don't know if we've got enough wood to keep a fire going. <laughs> I don't think we have wood to even make a fire. You cook. I didn't even know we were cooking. I think we used torches last time. That was on Kohol. That's, oh. Yeah, that was Kohol. Well, Dungeon Master, is there available materials for a fire? Give me a second to check. <laughs> well, yeah, there's scrub the and, iteration dead and bushes. Just crawl underneath the wagon and go to sleep. Uh, but of course, she's going to check on Autumn and Vasa, you know, just to make sure they're mm -hmm. breathing, and then go to bed. Unchanged on that count, Vi. They are breathing in that sense. Okay. Greg is, of course, dead. And yeah, that concludes the uh, what's it called on the party. So, yes, the Crow Mead. You'll believe two hours have passed. There was enough material Cassie or John or Peter could have thrown in a torch as needed at, when they were awake. Okay. It's not uh, a very big fire, but it's enough to keep you all warm for the night. Dungeon Master, I should be fairly well rested. Uh, let's see. You were in the saddle for the afternoon, for the morning. You rode in, you had lunch, you fought. I don't know about well-rested, but you're not exhausted. You didn't nearly die a couple times. Yeah. I mean, there were a couple right. crits on you that got stone-skinned, but beyond that. Yeah, uh... I'm oh yeah, go... since you're back up to full from the healing of the ring, which is like a troll's, just slowed. Yeah, your knee's fine. Yeah. 
So uh, I'll go ahead and I'm standing, you know, walking. So if mm -hmm. I were to fall asleep, I'll fall down and that should wake me up. Okay. Uh, but unless I'm feeling really sleepy, I'll go for two more hours. Okay. Uh, hmm. okay. I'll give you a roll if your wisdom score is that. Yeah, okay. You'll manage the next two hours. You, you are feeling it. But, like, you can pull okay. an all-nighter if you really want. I mean, and you since you're not sitting down either. deliberately. Uh, no, I have already said I was going to wake up Cass, Cassie next, so I'm going to wake her up. All right, you wake her up, and she'll accept it and do that thing with her sword, and it's glowing now. And Okay. Yeah. And yeah, I will uh, sleep outside of the firelight, you know, do the hide and shadows kind of thing, best that I can, figure. <laughs> okay. So you started your watch at 8. You went for two full hours. Okay. That, then another two. Oof. Actually, hold up a sec. So, okay, now you're going to go wake up Cassie, and then, bum bum bum, I did roll an encounter, and that's the last item in the list. Oh, that's a fun one. Oh, I don't want to use that here. I kind of do, though. Okay, I need to see if this will actually be an encounter. Huh, I mean, they would have to hunt, but usually they're more of trapping than seeking out prey. A crow meat, give me a d20 for seven. Let's make it. Two. I rolled. It's either a nine or a six. It's a nine. Your perception's what again? Like a. 13. 13, nine, pass by four. You make it on the nose. Yeah, something is moving around within your infravisions range. You can see sand being tossed around. It's about. Let's see, infravision for a half orc is that range there. So for you to see it. Here, give me a second. Let me figure out directionality. You're over there. It's over. Yeah, okay, so it's close enough by you'll see it. You thought at least you saw some sand moving around to the south of the campsite. You're currently at the southwest. Okay. Try to get a better look. What's it, what's it look like? Okay, you get closer. And yeah, it's not like the ground is rumbling or anything, like there's something subterranean, but as you get closer, there is definitely something moving around there. It doesn't appear to be moving towards the campsite, though. In fact, it appears to be moving away from the vibrations of your footsteps. Is it like under the sand? Yeah, under the sand, but its movement is kicking up sand. Huh. Okay, I'll go over to Cassie. This is after I've woke her up, right? You uh, literally, like, go to wake... You are about to go to wake her up, actually. She's still asleep. I apologize. It's ten minutes before okay. your watch was over. It was going to be on hers, but I forgot. Then I'll, I'll go wake her up and tell her about it. <clears throat> okay. did, did it seem Did it seem very big, Dungeon Master? <clears throat> no, not at all. <clears throat> okay. See, I don't know what it was, but it was kicking up sand over there. And it doesn't seem very big, but just keep an eye out. Was the sand hot? No, the sand wasn't hot. But I like your thinking, Aiden. <laughs> but I mean, if he saw it with infravision, that means it had to have some heat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, there was some heat signature, but it's not like red hot like some... Grills, you probably know the monster I'm thinking of that tunnels through the ground and leaves red hot shit. Well, there's more than one. Precisely. It's not one of those. <laughs> oh, okay. This is a non-encounter unless you all go poking around with your swords in the sand. Let, let, let me make this clear. This is for later. <laughs> yeah, I, I, if it's moving away from my footsteps, then I, I'm not too worried about it. You scared it off. Congratulations. Yay! Uh, okay, so you'll wake up Cassie. It will be her watch, and I get to start checking for encounters again. Yep. Fuck me. I opened up Monkey MC again. <laughs> Okay. Uh, excuse me. Gotta close that. Back over to this. Give me a second. I need to get things back in order because I've made a huge mess of things. It's actually just around midnight when you switch off with Cassie. It becomes day 120 fuck. Day 120 you know, fuck. You know what? Even if my math was off, that's four hours. I'm definitely at 100% now. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Vi. You've been sleeping pretty peacefully, and hold on, give me a second, because Cassie's seen you do a bunch of spell work, and she knows a bit about... Let me give her an info check. If 
five. Yeah, okay. All right. See, by taking four hours, assuming Cassie took at least two, I think I guaranteed by at least six hours of sleep, mm -hmm. which means her, her brain is going to be recharged. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. Okay. Give me a at second. least enough for low level stuff. This Man, is that's true. all I can do. Yeah. And this will be 16 minutes into the next one. I mean, I'm literally just the heal buck. That's my only purpose in life. I, I do as the healing commands. Excuse me. Okay. What do we got this time? Nine. That is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. That's hysterical. That's fucking phenomenal. Okay. Where are he going to be? Where are he gonna be? Okay, he's over there. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Huh. That was an actually non-encounter. Okay. Okay. Well, I cannot believe that happened that way. All right. Vi, you've gotten a fair bit of sleep, but uh, Peter wakes you up and asks if you're fit to take watch because he's about to pass out. Yeah, I'll take watch. I'll crawl out from underneath the wagon. I, I, I figure it's like two hours or so to sunrise based on when Cassie said she woke me up. Yeah, go, go, go back to sleep in the wagon. Yeah, uh, I'll take watch. He goes ahead and goes back to sleep in the wagon. You keep watch and fuck me, I drop my dice. No. Okay. No. I'll Two. walk around the fire, not really going out into the edges, but definitely staying closer to the wagon. Okay then. Well, uh, by two hours will pass. The sun starts to rise as light shines upon Denalia. What are you doing at this time? Waking up Cassie. Alright, you know, wake up Cassie, she'll, you know, turn over and wake up. And... Yeah, okay, at this point Cassie will start waking up the rest of the party. Uh, John is feeling better, but it's like, no, Mom, ten more minutes. And <laughs> There's a whole joke in there. Anyways, uh, the party will be awakened and start getting breakfast together, I presume? Yep. Okay, so I'm allocating time for that as you all will get a breakfast going. Okay, so once the party is done with breakfast, are you all heading out? Casting! Stone skin, twice. Okay, self I assume? Once on me... And once on Jazeel. Duly noted. Adding that to my paper. And I assume he got a hit point back for a full night's rest. Yes, Jazeel gets a hit point back for a full night's rest, as does everyone else in the party. Okay. Other than you, Chromie, you're already full. Yeah, yeah. So, Johnny Boy, Boop, Cassie Good Girl, and Peter Man. <coughs> Peter Man, Peter right. Man, he's a spider to Parker, doo doo doo. Alright, not gonna bother to try and re-memorize those at the moment, but yeah, we're gonna get mounted up. And, uh, now that Peter and John are in much better condition than they were yesterday, I forget who was driving which wagon before. Let me look at formations. Let's we see. can switch John and Peter. Well, thing is, we got to have somebody driving wagon two. And since Cassie's we... driving wagon two. Okay. 
Well, John and Peter were both on three, right? John was driving. Yeah, Peter we'll let Peter pass. drive now since he's got both legs. All right. Yeah, that works. And yes, Dungeon Master, we will uh, mm -hmm. mount out and move out. Anyone remember which leg it was he lost? I think it was the right leg. You never specifies. I don't know. I want to say even, it was the left. Even but... right, odd was left. Even. All right, it was the right legs. <laughs> Missing right leg. I don't know why I didn't have that noted down. Poor oh, dude. Okay, so party, y'all mount up and begin to travel, I assume two and a half miles per hour? Correct. Okay. The party needs this much time to travel. You're starting at that time. We're just going to move you to there, so that will be... will become... There. Okay. So you travel. Nine o'clock. Ooh. Interesting. Yeah, oof, ouch. One more and it wouldn't have been an encounter. My god. Huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Huh. That's unfortunate. Okay. Give me a moment here, guys. Y'all might want to take a smoke break or whatever. Okay. So, you know, it's been a while. Do I even have one of these rolled up? They're a common hazard of the desert. You'd think I just have one. Okay, I've got to quickly roll this up. Good news is I invented it, so I know exactly what it is. How many are we having today? Ouch! Quickly over to monster ideas to make sure I remember this correctly. Monsters, monsters, monsters. Where are you? There you are. Yeah, there we go. Should I max them out? Probably not. They're pretty mean. And that should read special. Okay, this is going to be interesting. I'm just going to make a quick notepad over here, pop them over to here, these over to there, this over to here, and not calculator, I need dice robot for this. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, I am ready. What treasure type do they have? They have that. Okay, I'll roll that up if that becomes pertinent. Let me go quickly grab what they are. And I'm trying to remember. Didn't I hand the wand of frost over to Vi after we recovered it? Nope. You no? picked it up and stuffed it into your belt. Ah, okay, but you've still got polymorphing. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. That works. So, party, as you all travel for a couple hours, eight is that direction normally, but directionality is kind of negated here. Give me a second. Because, hold on, I forgot to check the exact time. That's a one. That's 19. Okay. Okay. So it's about 8.50 or so off-world knowledge, so it's still morning. And head by about, I mean, you're using the spyglass and such, so Chromid, give me a d20. 
Made it by three. Made it by three, okay. Well, let me do a percentile die roll to see. Uh... Yeah, okay. So, Chromied, you'll spot it uh, at about 500 yards away. So, pretty good. 50 tens of yards in terms of okay. uh, those distances. You recognize a Sandman. One of those uh, figures uh -huh. made of sand astride a camel. It appears to be observing the party as they travel towards its rough area. It's not directly in your collision course, but it's pretty close. Maybe okay. 30 feet to the left of your projected tra trajectory. Okay. Then, uh, and did I spot it with spyglass or with normal sight? I'm going to say spyglass. Okay. All right. Bye. Be ready with that wand. And we will, I'll, I'll stop briefly and tell them what it is. All right. Oh, party, uh, Chromied, why don't you go tell them what, you t what, the, what it is? <laughs> and it's some kind of elemental creature of sorts called a Sandman. They like uh, extorting water from travelers. I haven't decided if I'm going to kill this one or not yet. We'll see how it goes. John we Shade. injured. We shouldn't antagonize it. Well, John shares some stories that he heard where they're pretty easy to antagonize, and uh, furthermore, they're pretty nasty. Like, undoubtedly, Mist Walker, you'll be fine, but if Vi has a point, we are pretty injured. And yeah, they're pretty nasty, those things. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Let's just hope it ignores us or something. And he, yeah, she sounds genuinely hopeful. <laughs> Anyhow, we will continue. Alright. Well, uh, you're going to get closer and closer and closer until this thing starts to make its action, so I'm just going to mark off distances as 45, 40, 35, 30. Let me know if y'all change your mind. Is it on an intercept course? It starts to move on an intercept course at about 20. <laughs> And this thing, it, it, it's like it's trying to mimic normal ca uh, camel, a uh, person to stride a camel movement, but it doesn't look normal at all, because it's just a giant mirage made of sand. Right. And, well, it plants itself directly on a course in front of you, and at about, uh, call it, I want to say 10 yards, 30 feet? Yeah, that's that's decent speaking distance for these things. It will call out for you to halt. What is it you want, Sandman? And at this point, I could do the thing, but I can't do the voice, and also it's hard for y'all to hear me. It will demand in this voice that y'all have trespassed, and it demands payment for the uh, insult. And the payment it demands is water. And how much water do you want? Ooh, interesting. I didn't anticipate this. It seems to contemplate that question for a moment longer than it should have before it says four water skins filled. Now, party, I don't I I haven't been keeping track of how much water you all should have. I don't know if you've got that much. I actually keep a fair in my saddlebags. All right, good for you, man. <laughs> I think it's uh, above normal capacity. You know what? This dimly rings a bell. So, Chromie, um, what are you doing? Is this thing's looking at you in this? Uh... Yeah, it's a two-quart water skin. Two two-quart water skins. And the normal water skin also a two-quarter? Give me a second. Information channels. Character creation. Yeah, two-quart water skin is standard. Oh, well, and then it's the fact that I have two of them. Mm-hmm. I will remove one water skin and throw it to it. Okay, you throw the water skin towards the thing. It doesn't make a move to catch it, and the thing just sort of passes through it. And, uh, let me check. It accepts Good. the payment. Hoorah! And, yeah, its form just kind of dissipates leaving this empty water skin. You can tell it's like dried out empty on the ground where it was. Then I'll pick up the water skin. All right. It is, of course, very sandy. 
Shake the sand out. out. Shake the sand out and continue. I still think I could have cone of cold at it. Or fireballed oh, it. At some point, I'm probably well, just going to have to post these you things. Can, doesn't mean you should. I know, Lydia, and I didn't. Notice that? I didn't. But I'm pretty sure a 10 die 6 fireball at 200 yards would have definitely put a crimp in its decision whether to keep coming at us or not. To be fair, this is not the same one at all. <laughs> uh, it's a good thing you didn't. There were three others. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. These, you Just know what? I should really post this. Maybe I will, but I'll do it after. Rem so remember my area of effect. It's fireball yep. is pretty skippy. Oh, no. You would have hit all of them, and that's a 10 die 6. Half of that roughly is, uh, what, 5 times 8. 40. That's pretty powerful. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so moving forward, uh, yes. yeah, well, you all will get XP for the encounter. Obviously, not as much as if you fully killed it, but bargaining with them is worth XP. So, uh, moving forward, any other encounters that hour? Nope. Okay, that puts you all to nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, give me a second to do some math. That becomes another that. Okay, it will be about 12, p uh, 12 p.m., yes. And the party will have just made it to about... <laughs> what's a fifth of a mile in this world is... Yeah, Oasis is 36 tens of yards away. Roughly. Okay. So I assume you all are going to Oasis. Correct, if nothing else, so I can refill my water skins. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the funny thing. I could just go to Oasis and ask... Yeah. <sighs> Give me a second, please. That was both uh, dramatic and not as dramatic as I was expecting. I should have fireballed it. You could have fireballed it. So, uh, yes, party, y'all make it to Oasis. It's very much as I've described it before. There are walls and these sandstone houses. And much more populated than you were expecting. Expecting a crow made now that you're actually spending more than five seconds looking at the place. Okay. Some kids running around laughing, uh, adults on their way through the business. I assume Is you all are. Is there an inn? Yes, there are inns. That is new. That's out of character response for me. Yes, that is new. <laughs> okay. Why, Lydia, were you thinking about getting a room? We should, at least long enough for me to heal them back up. Okay. Or we can find... Are you willing to have... Are you willing to pay them to get healed back up, or no? Mm, no, no, not really. Uh, how far is it from Oasis to the Keep, Dungeon Master? Ah, uh, let me do some math for you, because I think I have that right. As a straight shot, you haven't really done it too much. You estimate roughly 20 miles. 20 miles? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we ain't gonna make that before nightfall. Alright. Then, yeah, you might as well get a room. Bye. So, oh, Dungeon Master, oh, oh. we, will, we yep. will go to an inn. Okay. Are you asking directions for an inn? Looking for a thingy with, like, a picture of a tankard outside? Yeah, looking for something with a sign that looks like it would be an inn, stables and the smell of food and that kind of shit, you know. Well, lucky you. Uh, yes, you will find, and Akromi, you'll recognize this, and Vi, you too, actually, because I believe you would have seen the sign, too. The poster is, hey, blah, 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 something wanted the Wellspring Inn. This is the Wellspring Inn you're at. Okay. <sighs> Alright, inquire about the uh, cost for a room dungeon master. Uh, not going too far ahead, there's like some horses and a bipod hitched up at the thingy. Y'all will find a spot for your wagons off to the side, because there are roads now, funny enough, in this place. It's still pretty small, all things considered, but this went from a village to a town-sized thing. Anyway, y'all will hitch up your wagons and stuff. I've got Vi, not Vi, I've got Peter and John offering to stick with the wagons while y'all go in. Cassie as well, just for the sake of keeping the party, bit, you know, compact. Okay. All good? <clears throat> all right. Yeah. One second, I'm being pitched.
apologies about that. I'm back. Okay. Welcome back. So y'all enter the inn. Uh, I'm not going to go too much into detail here about the layout. There is a bar section right up front to the left. There's some people sitting around tables in the central area. And there's this uh, quiet nook up ahead on the right-hand side. Some people are in there too. So y'all are going to the innkeep to inquire about the cost of a room? Yes. Alright, that will be two gold pieces per bed and room. So like, we there's got... a couple of single bedrooms and a single two bedroom available. And it's two gold pieces a room. Mm -hmm. The two bedrooms is at uh, four gold pieces here. Okay. So basically two gold per bed. Yep. All right. Does he have enough rooms for all of us? Uh, how many people, y'all? Six, ain't it? Let's see, a Chromied Vibe, the three NPCs, you've got some uh, party members that are AFK or dead or uh, sleeping sickness. Yeah. And I think the total would be seven, plus you've got Greg's body, which I assume y'all have covered in some way to keep the sun from making it smell. Yeah, if we have a tarp or something. We're just covering him up with his own clothes. He's got a cloak, doesn't he? I think he does. So yeah, I'll give I'll give you that. You find something. Yeah, he doesn't get a room. Mm -hmm. Ouch, Greg. Greg doesn't get a room. All right. So the three NPCs: Via, Kurumi, Vas, uh, Vasa. That, that's seven people. Uh, so we got okay. the two bedroom and at least a few of those. So call it that many plus. Let's see. That's three plus two is five, six, seven. Just enough rooms for y'all. You're in luck. Okay. Uh, I'll hand him eighteen gold. For the rooms and for food and drink. How many rooms drink. are we getting? Seven. Five, Although seven I think one's a double. One's a double, so that's we're getting six. But that room is a double. And that'll accommodate the living. <clears throat> but I mean, we could have just doubled up in a room. Well, if he moves the bed or a cot into the room, he's still charging two he extra gold. Doesn't need to do that. Then. I mean, yeah, I can sleep on the floor if you want. How do you want to do it? We have two unconscious people. They're not going to object to sleeping on the floor. Yeah, well, uh, it's it's not going to break the bank here. I'm not going to be bouncing room to room to heal people, girls. Well, Vi, would you like to take you and Golden and Vasa <clears throat> and say Cassie, for example, to one to one room? Yeah. Alright, so you, you can have those there, and then Peter, John, they can uh, take a room, and oh, hold on. <coughs> okay. When did that happen? I might be paged. But the rooms are paid for, as well as four gold worth of food and beverages for the team. Mm-hmm. Um, was muted. All right. Uh, apologies about that. Just realized my phone's been muted and someone was trying to call me. All right. So yes, you all have rooms. You have that. So what's the party doing at this point? It is uh, lunchtime. You all eating? Yes, we're going to eat. Food's paid for. Might not be great food for four gold pieces to feed all of us, but it should be better than gruel. Yeah, and... Be and yeah, after we get eight, we will, those of us who are conscious, will get the injured and unconscious moved up to wherever the hell Vi wants them at for healing purposes. Okay. Now, party, I have a thingy here that y'all could call it a plot hook, if you will. Y'all are, are busy, like really busy people. I'm assuming you don't want to jump into another plot hook. Do you want to skip it or do you want to hear it? Well, well, if we overhear it, that's fine. But yeah, I think we've got a big fish to fry before we yeah, move no. into the next Yeah, you all have thing. so many fish on your plate, it's hysterical. So, you remember there were those notices about this guy trying to gather fighters for the yeah, Sand the, Dragon. Uh, yeah, we've, we've seen him. Uh-huh. He's there, and so is a guy with two swords over his back. My copy of a Witcher, a silver blade. And the two of them are at that table in the corner there, studying some map and talking quietly back and forth. So if y'all want to poke at that, feel free. I'll be happy to run it. 
but I know the party is very busy right now. Girls might poke at it, but Vi has a mission on the mind, and that is healing. So she's going to ask Cassie if she'd be willing to uh, guard me while in the room while I pray for an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah, okay. If she's... Cassie you know, is willing. She's very curious about the silver blade, but she'll pass. <laughs> I, I don't want to railroad you all one way or the other. <laughs> But I know how frustrating it is when you want to do A, but... Oh, stop, stop, stop throwing things at me, Dungeon Master. I have enough on my plate. <laughs> I get it. Okay. <sighs> Sorry, I'm assuming the party's going to leave that alone then. And you all will eat lunch. Vi, you and Cassie are going to get Vasa and Miko upstairs. And I Vi... can't carry them. They're NPC I... mode at this point. Like, okay... Miko is at two hit points. You can wake her up long enough to have her walk upstairs. But not Miko. Uh, I Autumn. don't mind carrying them up. Vasa, I forget, but she should also be in a workable state, or if not, you can quickly cast a heal. Well, actually, no, you don't have any memorized. But the point is, yeah, Cassie's strong, Akuromi's strong. Y'all can get them upstairs and start healing. We'll call that 12.15, giving time for lunch. So, Necromid, uh, you've got your NPCs either in your rooms or you've got Peter John down with you. What are you doing? Yeah. Okay, uh, first I'm going to ask Vi, how long do you think it's going to take you? Till tomorrow morning or possibly longer to get them all able-bodied? To get together. all of them? Yes. Mm. Triage, Dungeon Master. Okay, I don't remember Vasa or Miko. Uh, not Miko, my goodness. Vasa or Autumn. We can assume they're both close to zero. Uh, Cassie is still at three quarters, roughly. Peter is... Well, John's a bit over half. And Please Peter... use percentages. Okay, give me a minute. <laughs> it's going to make it easy, but this works. Three quarters is not easy for me to translate. 75%. Yeah, no, different styles of doing math. I literally grew up translating that. JK, that percent. PP, which is, yeah, I'll just make it Peter. But yes, his last name starts with P also. No, it's not Parker. Patterson? It is Peter Pennington. Like the Pennington Bear? The what? Pennington Bear, it's a children's book. Mm. Well, I was not aware of that. No, that's a randomly generated name. Okay. Since Vasa is a third, I believe... Four. Okay, I know Vasa's total, so if you heal her for her total, then I'll know that she's at full. I believe she's close to zero now. Although Dom is online. Party, what are you all doing at this point? I have Vi. In chat. Yeah, yeah, out of character chat. So I have Vi, you're going to be busy praying for and distributing healing for like the rest of the day. NPCs yeah. are either going to be lounging around downstairs or guarding you in the case of Cassie. The Chromid, I need to know what you're doing. Well, that's why I was asking Vi how long she thinks it's going to take for, uh, for the, the healing. Because I want to do a few things, and they can be handled pretty quickly, or... Probably most of the day, if not till tomorrow morning. Okay. I was just making sure you wouldn't need another full day. 
in that case, Dungeon Master, uh, let's see, let me, I'd like to buy some stuff if there are shops that have crossbows, bolts, and rope. Okay, but the rope, I, definitely, crossbows and bolts, let me check. Alright, uh, they don't have a lot. They're still getting situated, these people, and this used to be a pretty poorly stocked village. You'll get... let's make it a 4 plus... You can buy up to 7 crossbows with a score of bolts. These are light crossbows with scores of light bolts. Yes. Each. So 7 okay. of each. And I wouldn't do this if you were in a big city. This is literally because you're in what used to be a village. 13, 7 times 3 is 21. 3 to 2. That's 9. Plus another to the rope. Okay, 92 gold, so I'll mark off a gem and get 8 gold change. That's 3, that's 8, and hmm. 7L Alright, in the meantime, Vi, are you going to start with your healing stuff? Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm slightly sorry. distracted. Okay, so it is currently 12.30. When you start your okay. healing. Alright, Dungeon Master, I'll, I'll put that rope, the crossbows, and the ammo on Wagon 1. Alright, and someone will need to mark that off one way or the other in whatever... Uh, I will do is. Autumn first. And Dungeon Master, I'd like to get one more stone skin on me and two more memorized. Okay, you should well, have the time. To for autumn. That. Okay, autumn is at a hundred percent at this point. Okay. Oh, and my spell saver spell back. Okay. I will pump three into Vasa. Okay. Give me a minute there. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay, Vasa is about sixty percent, let's call it. At 12 minutes per... That's still less than an hour. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Vi, yep. that was all your healing spells for the hour 15 minutes you used? Yes. Okay, you're going to start doing that again. Huh. Interesting. Give me a minute, please. 30 minutes on to that hour there. So that's an hour. You'll get the first four of those five spells back. Because you'll have gone for an hour 15 plus that. Becomes 13, 45, plus another becomes 15. Ah, uh, damn it. Butt crossbows. Yes, crossbows yeah. you fire from your butt. Just in case anyone tries the, uh, what's that jutsu called, Aiden? Uh, 1,000 years of death. Oh, yeah, no, fuck that one. Uh, that's literally its name. 1,000 <laughs> years of death. When it's literally just driving your 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 two index fingers up someone's eyes. It's... Uh -huh. To be fair, that's what would happen to anyone who tried it to me. So yes, the butt crossbow was designed specifically to counter it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm feeling goofy. Anyway, so what type of encounter are we going to get? This is a city. Do I want to do this? Nah, eh, fudge. I'll just do a normal thing. I was gonna just make this simple and do a special thingy, but now we'll do a normal thingy. Day time, 59. And merchants. do I have time for a couple of drags? You'll have time for drags. A crow made a longer thing, you'll have some merchant try and sell you something. If it's something you want, yay, that's how you got it. If it's not something you want, you told the guy to fuck off. Sound good? Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, that's the encounter. Okay, a crow made at this point is doing his shopping and then coming back and playing cards. Vi, you, uh... You get, let me check, you get what you get, you don't get upset. You'll get that hour 15 minutes done, which would put you at 30. Okay. So, you have your five Cure Light Wounds is back. I will pump them, I will pump... Three into Vasa. Three into Vasa. Dice those three. You can just do three die eight if you want. Okay, 
11. You gave her 16 already. Vasa is at full at this point. You're really not. So, after those three, what are you doing? Killing John. Okay, dice it. You doing them one at a time or both at once? For eight. For eight points of damage, Jahan, for eight. He's close. Uh, give me a second, I'll give you the percent. John is at 87.5% even. Okay. And back to prayer. Well, how, that's, what time is it now? Like, is it, do I feel hungry? Uh, let's see, you had lunch, right? Yeah. Yeah. You mean so breakfast? Let's... No, this was lunch. We got here a little bit afternoon, and I bought us lunch in addition to the rooms. Oh, okay. Okay, so give me a second, because this is your second round of healing. I'm 15 each day, starting at 12.32 hours, becomes... So it's about 3 p.m., roughly. How do I feel mentally? You've got that fun tingle in your brain that means, hey, this is my last round of those spell slots. And I will pray for the last hour. The last hour or hour 15 for the fifth spell slot? I I said an hour and 15. No, oh, sorry, an hour. All right, uh, let me check. Well, I was in the process thing of the 15, but he overspoke me. Sorry. All right. Okay. You will get the hour and 15. Okay. I know that you triage on the last three. Right. Uh, triage is currently up to date. 31. Okay. A gentleman. Gentleman, really? In this fucking village? I will Fatish pump all dandies. I have into Cassie to get her to 100%. But if I exceed it, please let me know. Alright, I'll let you do it one at a time and be like, okay, now she's full. Okay. So, dice it. I'll do you... two first. That, that's a much better way of doing it. Eight. Eight points, she can go for more. Do you want the percentage, or just keep yeah. going? Eh, give me a second. You can definitely yeah. pump at least two more healings into her, I can okay, tell you that I much. I will do two more. Welcome back, Dom. Hey, Dom. Vasa, you wake up and you feel great. Alive and not dead. Eight and... more. Eight, nice, yeah. Uh, Vasa, you're in a room. Autumn is there, sleeping peacefully. Vi just touched Cassie, not inappropriately, like with glowing gold hands of healing, and Cassie looks pretty fucking good, Vi. Yep, I can't type. It's killing me. Clear. Does that mean she needs more, or is she good? She's at 96% yeah. now. She could definitely get another okay, one no, to go no. to max, she's, but she's, she's fine. fine. She's fine. You know how it is for is high level Peter fighters. Peter and John in here, or is it? Oh, yeah. You've been going down, being like, hey, John, come up for a minute, and doing that. Well, so I mean, far, Peter and John have been down with the Chromid. Vasa, you're at 100%. Okay. Uh, yes, I performed, I performed the miracle and saved you. But yeah, Vasa, you're in some room somewhere in a building. There's a... Actually, is there a window in this room? Vi, would you have taken a room with a window or gone for one without? Oh, no. No? no window. Okay, in that case, there's no window. It's just a room. There's like a lantern or something providing light. Uh, there's a two beds here. That's right, because you took the two-bedroom. 
And you are actually on the floor next to Autumn, who is sleeping peacefully. Vasa, what are you doing? Well, Vasa, while you mutter your thinking noise out loud, the great god, um, makes the sky rumble and, oh wait, this isn't Cole Hall. Oh no. Ah. Yes, please, I'm trying to be my last action here. Go ahead. I'm sorry, okay. You're good. Is Peter in the room? Yeah, you're nay. Not in the room, but you can run down and grab him. Like, he's downstairs right, playing cards with me, last you checked. I thought girls went shopping. He went shopping and came back. That was hours ago. Okay. Then I will, you know, I'll finish off John. He's already in here. He's in here. John is also downstairs. John then how could I have healed him? I John has let, one leg. I let you say, oh, hey, John, hold on. Run downstairs with me. Okay, here. Let me support you. Or Cassie, you support him. Hobble back upstairs. Okay, let me heal you. Okay, hobble back downstairs. You can use a sword and scabbard as a crutch. Makeshift crutch. Hmm, that's a good point, actually. If Kuromid, would you have been willing? John would have asked, hey, can you buy me, like, a crutch or something? They've got to have a walking stick I can use. I would have looked for that while I was out and about in Dungeon Master. All right. In that case, give me a second percentile dice roll. <laughs> yeah, they have right, it. Well, then I will run down and heal Peter because, right, you know, right. apparently Kuromid, one silver runs for the... in the NPCs. Okay. One silver for the crutch? Yeah. Okay. Right. Let me throw that at Priceless. So, yeah, it's just a cane, basically. List. Where is it? Okay. Ow. Chest pain. Okay, Vi, dice your healing when you're ready. Ayo! Seven. Uh, Vi, he is at 66.66 repeating percent. Vi is going to go back up to the room. Uh, Vi, Peter, and John, they both thank you very profusely for helping them out. Oh, wait. I've healed most... I, I will stop and turn and address the Miss Walker. I've healed most of the party back up to full. Probably somewhere around morning time. Possibly. Maybe three hours of time when I'll have everyone back to 100%. Hmm. And then she'll turn and go back upstairs. Duly noted. Right, Vi, I assume you're gonna just try and rest and relax till dinner, eat dinner, then go to sleep, or do you have other things in mind? I'm gonna sit on the bed and relax. Right, Wait good for choice. dinner. Yeah, no, your head's kind of pounding. You're like sipping at water. Or this this headache of stressing your brain repeatedly for many days straight. You're familiar with the strain that clerics put on their men, their psyche, constantly getting things. Okay. All right. So, rest of the party, you all doing anything at this time, including you, Vasa? Oasis. Uh, Kuromi, you're downstairs. Vasa is up in the room, but oh. Vasa, Cassie will say the same, basically. Oasis, you've been out for a while. <laughs> we uh, managed to survive with most everyone alive, although Greg is currently decomposing in the wagon outside. And yeah, Oasis is different than last time I was here. Mauled and bigger and a bit more populated. That reminds me, I gotta check. Really? Not one of all time? Oh, God damn it. 27. Mm -hmm. 
So who have I got downstairs with me? Peter and John? Yep, Peter, John. A couple drunkards are wandering around, bugging people. They haven't bugged you yet. Okay. Voss, I still don't have an action from you, so I assume you're resting. Please let me know otherwise. Vi, I know what you're doing, Necromede. Yeah, and no, I, I figure as much, Vasa, so this is meta, if you will. It's like, oh yeah, Vasa's really tired, she's resting. No, I, I mean, he means in her last. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying, so I'm applying the meta. Haha, <laughs> Vasa's really tired also, just to keep Probably you Probably should be eating. Well, that's the fun thing about sleeping sickness. You don't need to eat, sleep, defecate, well, what the you're sleeping. Well, with beds. That's the difference. Eh, <sighs> one second. Uh, negative HP values aren't death until it's below negative 10, aren't they? Yes, death, true death occurs at negative 10. Mm, that's just unconscious. Okay, you're walking your way down the stairs, and yeah, Vasa... Uh, you're in a pretty medium-sized uh, tavern of some kind. Your compatriots have a table. Uh, Kuromi, you've got yourself corner thing, chair, up against the wall, as you do. Yeah. And playing cards with John and Peter. John has only one leg and a cane leaned up against the wall next to him. Uh, in this other corner of the room, not directly opposite, call it uh, opposite on the west axis, just for simplistic sake, uh, there are these two people by a table with a map, and they're talking to some other people. The drunks are actually walking up over to them at this time, Voss, as you come down the stairs. One of the people is in this chrome, shiny armor. You've never seen anything quite like that before in your life. And the armor covers him from head to toe, basically. Uh, the other guy's in leather armor. He has two swords slung over his back. If you've seen The Witcher, then you know what I'm talking about. They're about bastard sword-sized. They're both about six feet tall. Anyways, uh, so Vasa, you come downstairs. You're going to over to the innkeeper, to, oh, the barkeep, whatever, to ask for food. Okay, yes, Vasa, you feel like you could eat like a horse. <laughs> or maybe a goat. Anyways, you'll pay for food. Uh, the drunkards are starting to cause a problem with these two people here by the table. Anyone doing anything with that? They're becoming no. loud and boisterous and blah, blah, blah. Freaking uh, freaks like you don't belong in this city. We have enough problems as it is, blah, blah, blah. And the guy with the two swords turns around and uh, party downstairs I'll need perception checks failed by four shit mm. alright uh, let me just do Peter, Peter John real quick oof somehow failed failed by one alright well that's the <laughs> player character party so I'll just leave the NPCs alone for right now well, you won't notice that, but you will notice that he does something funky with his hands and, like, forms a tri like, traces the shape of an upside-down triangle twice and says, Guys, you don't want to drink here anymore. Go back to your homes. And these two guys kind of just nod slowly and stagger off, and this guy turns back around. You've made the fucking Witcher in Denalia, haven't you? Yep. He doesn't have silver hair before you ask. He's got this short black hair. Well, the thing is, Geralt's the only one who has that white hair. I know. This is not Geralt before you ask. <laughs> it's a different witcher. Random. So, is the party doing anything at this point in time special? Nope. Nope. Okay. In that case, yeah, some time shall pass. I will probably go down to eat dinner once dinner time is around. Yep, I'm just quickly checking for encounters. Oh, fucking would you believe it. Okay, uh, time forward going. It's about 18 o'clock, which is 6 p.m. So about dinner. You know how it do be. Make sure they, they uh, have a goat or a pig or something for Jaleel. You know, 
like I said, in uh, action, you know, check on the animals, make sure they've been taken care of after eating my own dinner, that kind of thing. Okay. Returning my plus one. Was it a plus one? I think it was. Yeah, Savasa, you have your sword. Someone was smart enough and grabbed it. The gods decided it. <laughs> okay. Apologies, just dealing with some direct messages. So, let me see what we get on the roll table. My nerves are chucky today. City official. City official. What the fuck would you even do there? Fuck it. He's getting dinner. Dinner. Collecting taxes. Yeah, basically. Collecting bribes. Yes. <laughs> rent. Yes. Maybe he owns the place, so maybe he's getting rent from the. Point is, some guy in some nicer clothing with a couple bodyguards will walk on in, order some food, talk to the innkeep. I'm gonna guess here the party isn't interested in fucking with it. Unless you all are, in which case, please let me know. Nah. Right. Uh, obviously, the uh, Silver Blade and the other guy aren't gonna hang around there all day, but they were there for a few hours today. Uh, the Silver Blade rolls up this map and says, Alright, we'll meet again tomorrow, see if we can find some more people in the area. I think we're close. And he puts this in the case, and nods to the innkeep as he walks outside the other guy sits at the table uh let's see i've described him before he does have a crossbow this time around it's not also open on strike what vasa was asking if we got her sword unless i'm missing something i oh, know i just i'm in out of character and i just see open palm strike i was highly confused for a moment <laughs> So yeah, uh, the uh, other guy is uh, currently just sitting at the table observing. He also, currently has his back against the wall. Crossbow not in hand, but right next to his hand. Okay. Got a spear leaned up against the wall and, yeah, just observing quietly. <laughs> and this is the guy in the shiny armor or the one in the Shiny leather? armor. Okay, I've seen him before. Oh, and mm -hmm. Master. Mm-hmm. We are technically in a safe location. Yes. Could, could we have our XP, please? <laughs> oh. It depends how long the party is going to be staying here. If it's just quickly recuperating stuff, then we'll, we'll see. <laughs> but if y'all are going to stay here for a couple more days, then that's a definite yes. Like, it, like Grill said, it's given really when you have like a chance to stop and reflect. This is less of a stop and reflect, more of a stop, heal, move forward. I know, it's like meta, oh, we should keep moving is the logical thing, so I might give it anyways. I'm, I'm going to think about that for a bit. Y'all will get it sooner or later. Well, it's about 20 miles to the keep. We should be able to cover that in a day with time to spare. Two miles an hour, 10 hours... We can make it. So, that's, and since, that's up to you all. And since the party will likely be spending at least a couple days at the keep, that would be worthy of an XP dump. Yeah, but it's looking like the party will restart. Well, most of them will restart back at one 
if I do intend to keep playing Vi, I'm going to be kind of stuck here. Mm. In the meantime, I'm gonna think about the XP thingy, but in the meantime, is the party doing anything else special tonight? As you know, it's gonna be a couple hours okay. before night falls and it's bedtime. Well, uh, Dungeon Master, if you see in-game chat, Hoff is asking about playing cards, and instead of going through all the uh, RP, yeah, we will show her how to play at least one game. Whatever it is we're playing, mm -hmm. you know, Teach, teach her the basics. Alright, so yeah, Vasa, congratulations, you've learned how to play a card game. And, yeah, I'm not gonna say poker, or rummy, or spades, or whatever the hell it is. Bluff would be a know. perfect thing, it's very simple. What, whatever card game is popular, the, the, the card game du jour of Denalia. Mm -hmm. Well, funny enough, Vi Vasa doesn't know too many card games, that wasn't really something they did over at her thing. Exactly, Vasa. You can get a single XP for that deduction. Do you feel by and oh right, that's you gave me XP for honesty. Was that one or ten earlier? That was I think one, but fuck it, it's ten now. Okay. I'm too tired. <laughs> okay, so uh Yeah, Dungeon Master, after dinner, the zeal got fed, the other animals are taken care of. We play cards for a bit. And otherwise, you know, I know the party needs another night's rest, and we have the rooms, so, uh, yeah, not looking to stir anything up, I've made some purchases, I'm I'm ready for you to roll the dice and see mm -hmm. if we make it through the night. I would have went back upstairs <laughs> after eating. Okay, duly noted. Ruffians, that's too late at night. Eh, fuck it. Okay, well, party the next couple hours will pass, y'all will have eaten dinner at one point or another, and everyone's going to their rooms at this point, I assume. Yep. Okay, uh, so before Vi had, would have left after eating, she would have told John and Peter to come to her room to get healing in the morning. Alright, they will both confirm they heard that. And then she'll go to her room and go to bed. Okay. Oh, party that she's sharing with Avasa and Cassie. Duly noted. Autumn and is Autumn, but there. Autumn's already there. Mm -hmm. Ruffians. Is there anything I can do with that that's fun? You know what? Fuck it, I have something hysterical. <laughs> Alright. Well, uh, party, it will be kind of early in the morning, and I could go for a round of perception checks at a penalty of four. Ha ha, I rolled a two, so I made it by uh, seven, even with the penalty. Fail, fail, of course. I got a nat one. Nice. Alright, Vasa, waiting on you. I already made the rolls, I got 21. Failed. You failed. Okay. So, uh, for those of you that made your perception checks, there's the sound of some kind of scuffle going on outside. Do I have a window room? Uh, let me check a chromid. Your room does have a window. In fact, I assumed you would have trapped it. I probably should have asked. No. Okay, so uh, look out the window. Alright, your window would face... Ah, uh, fuck, I'm just gonna use a D4. This is occurring on side 2. You've got a window on side 3. Uh, would you see it? Give me a d20. Uh, no, actually, you wouldn't be able to see it. No? No. Y you can tell what direction it's coming from. You hear someone shouting, and there's the sound of blade hitting uh, blades hitting each other. Okay. I don't hear any incantations or bright lights or anything like that? No, not at the present moment. Yeah. You know what? They've got a town watch. They, they can deal with that shit. So what are you doing? Uh, go back to bed. Alright. What and time is it? It's early, early morning, like maybe 5 a.m. or something. Okay, no, never mind. I gotta readjust my, uh... I 
I will sleep for a bit longer then. Okay. Uh, this NPC ain't gonna do anything by themselves. They might poke their head out the thing and seeing no one doing anything gone back in. Uh, party, the uh, Silver Blade will deal with the ruffians, deal with the town watch, and that's done and out of your hairs. Seven o'clock, next morning, rolls around. What is the party doing? Get up. Uh, disarm the trap, put the bed back in place, take down the bell and the string and the nail, uh, you know, routine shit. Uh, go downstairs, get food. Okay. Uh, Crow Mage will dismantle your protections. Cassie will go downstairs to get some breakfast. John and Peter will. Of course, be I tell her how long so she could tell the boys. I'm, but I'm I'm pretty sure they're smart enough to figure it out. Oh no, they're actually going to be in there with you for safety's sake. I, I know, but I mean, like they'll know how long for the praying and stuff. But... Mm-hmm. All right. Anyone else doing anything special? Yes. After eating, slapping. I'm typing it up. I can't type in actions because you're still ahead. My own nits. Okay, let's try typing in English. Mm. <clears throat> Reverie. Yes, Reverie. Uh, that still doesn't look spelled right, but it passes the smell test, if not the spell test. Recovery? Yes, yeah, spell recovery. Rememorize. Rememorization would be the thing. Uh, okay, you know what I mean. Eating two stone skins in 20 minutes. Uh, Vi, I assume you're praying for your hour 15 minutes, so... That's got you yeah, I told there. you I didn't think I spelled it right. <laughs> okay. That, that was my third try, and that was good enough. <laughs> yeah. I get the feeling we're all pretty tired at this point. There. No, I'm not that tired, but my nerves are erect tonight. Anyhow, I know you got to do some checks and stuff, so I'm going to go for a couple of drags real quick. Mm -hmm. I just did the checks. You're fine, but go for a drag. It's fine. <laughs> okay, so crow meat eating. The party members will get their various food. Uh, I assume you all are going to pay. I'll just deal with that later. Just I know. Legs feel like shit. <laughs> okay. So, let's see, Kromi's gonna do that, then two stone skins on Cassie, she will oblige. Where is she? That's right, you healed her. Funny enough, Cassie had a crit on her that was gonna kill her by round 160 of that thing, but you had... Did you heal her at that time? Yeah, that's right, you did. Yeah. So I had one healing left, and I slapped it on her the moment she got in. That's Told right, her to you bind did. her wounds and slapped her in healing. Mm -hmm. So she was good twice that way, actually, because the binding wounds would have slowed it. No, actually, it wouldn't if that's right, the other thing. Yeah, good for her. Okay. Ah, my nose. Mm hmm. Okay, so at this point, I don't know what's up with Fred, but he just keeps cutting out for me. So Koromi will do that, and he'll go ahead and get his thing going. Uh, skipping slightly ahead to the future. Okay, and I'm back. Thanks for the break. Welcome back. Okay. So yeah, Chromied, you'll get your two stone skins cast and go up to your room, and you need 22 minutes. Via 24. 
24 minutes this right. So yeah, Kuromid, you'll get those two spells back. Okay. In that case, uh, put everything away, come on back downstairs, and uh, I guess we're killing time and playing cards while Vi is doing spells and things. Checks out for me. Anyone else doing anything special? I'm praying. Mm -hmm. Besides that, but yes, that is special. Awesome, Oko is Titan. Well, I can't really do anything else. Heal bot, heal bot, heal bot. I'm just waiting to be told enough time has passed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, because the thing is it's an hour 15 minutes, so I'm just making sure. I see Vasa is typing, so before I advance time, I want to see what he is saying. <sighs> Alright. You gonna give it another shot tomorrow? I'm waiting for Chromie to get back. Yes. I'd appreciate it. Oh yeah. By the way, party, those of you down a singular hit point, which is NPCs actually, are up by one. Yay, Ooh. He's getting there. Well, me. Are you accompanying Vasa in search of magic items? Uh, I missed that. Is Vasa going out looking? Uh, Vasa just asked an out of character just now. Out of character. He would ask me if he can accompany Vasa in the search for magic items in this town. Uh, as long as the rest of the party is staying to guard Vi. Mm hmm. The party is staying put. Alright, Vasa, is this on foot? I guess so, because you don't have a riding horse, do you? <clears throat> and this place isn't so crowded that I need Jazeel to make the, the mass nope. part, do I? Nope. Okay. It's definitely more populated than you were than it was before, but it used to be like We uh five we did dozen bring two almost. horses with us too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but still, I think I'd like to leave all that together to just take thoughts on for view, red lamb, tassel, I accidentally deleted it from the uh, list by mistake. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I'll let Jazeel know what the dealio is that I'm going with Goat Girl to look yeah, turkey. There, there it is. So. Goat Girl. I like it. That's the new nickname. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, I forgot to mention it. Guards in this place are wearing uniforms of yellow and white. Okay. okay. Anywho. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, the population is maybe a few hundred people at most. The range of the crystal by the oasis is only covering about a mile total. Like a mile circle. Diameter. That's still a lot of room. It is a surprisingly large amount of room. Considering how before it was about 500 feet in any direction. Alright. But yeah, Dungeon Master, in addition to Jazeel, make sure the rest of the team knows, hey, save Fouch, the, the healer. We won't be gone too long. Alright, yeah, no, you've got John and Peter there. Cassie's downstairs. Okay, so y'all are looking around town for magic items for sale. I'll leave my deck of cards with them in if they are interested in playing cards while we're gone. Yeah, Cassie knows Solitaire. Cassie's okay. downstairs, John Peter are upstairs, uh, Autumn's asleep, and Voss is with you, so Cassie's just hanging out downstairs at the inn. Says she well, might now, go out and stretch her legs too, but she'll ha hold tight just in case there's a problem. Well, now that she's mostly healed and stone skinned. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Voss and a Coromid. Yes. Give me a second. So you all go out looking. Uh, you go to the markets, I assume, and ask around, and it's like, yeah, no, not really. Not really. Yeah, that, that is far beyond my capabilities. Hmm? Not what I figured. All right, then we go back to the inn. Yeah, now, sadly, even though the increased size exists, this isn't Rinvera right before the thingy. Okay, where was I? Uh, so you're gonna look around for that. You doing anything else? I'm 
or not for me. Okay, nope. so y'all will poke around and head back. Back to the end. Mm -hmm. right. Well, y'all get back to the end. Cassie is talking to the silver blade dude who showed up, and the dude in the shiny armor is back at his table too. Hey, my man. Yes, I'm working on it, Aiden. You're actually almost about done. I'm trying to run three different threads at once now. <laughs> Bear with me. Anyways, so yeah. Uh, the dude nods to you all. You can give me a second round of perception checks, you two. No penalty. Who? Uh, Chromied and Vasa. I rolled hey, a three. Vasa. Yeah, so. you'll notice it this time, although somehow you missed it earlier. This dude doesn't have normal eyes. He has cat eyes. Yellow cat eyes. Okay. And he says, alright, understandable. Uh, if you change your mind, he's right over there. And he goes over to the table as well. Uh, the dude with the two swords goes over to the corner table where the other dude is. I'm sorry, I'm trying to be descriptive here, but it's failing me. Alright, y'all get back, and now, switching slightly ahead to the future, because I know Aiden's chomping at the bit and biting at the chomp. Aiden, you've gotten an hour, 15 minutes. Go ahead and start your healing. Time of day will be at this point here. I will dump all five into. Well, no, I'll dump two into Peter. All right, dice it. Wait, well, wait, triage first. Peter is at like sixty-nine percent. Nice. I think I'll dump two. Ah, that's actually him. pretty close to the funny bit. That isn't me making a meme. Four. To Four. Ao. He's at uh, five divided by six. Fucking, it's killing me. Fifty divided by. Nope, that's not helping. Brain. He's at eighty-three percent. I'll dump two on the John. Okie dokie. Guys. Well, here, actually, do the first one. Three, okay. You um, do the first one, and you realize, oh, yeah, hold on, I don't need to. He's full. Okay, so you can roll I'll again that, sec that second one and put it into Peter if you wish. Wait, if that's the case, I can put the last few into Peter? Yeah, sure, I'll allow it. I'll do it one at a time, though. Okay, smart. Smart cookie. Yeah, yeah, Okay, congratulations. That last one healed up, Peter. You're so lucky I'm nice and let you do that. And no, girls, you can't meta. You Did can't Cassie meta. Did Cassie bring me my food? Yeah, she brought you your food, man. I'm working on it. Cassie brought up the food. John and Peter were there, so she went back downstairs, had the conversation with the dude just as a meet and what's his name got back. Later, you finish your prayer. Yes, a crow meat and the dude. Um, I will eat my food and then pray for another hour. Praying for another hour? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm assuming J and P thanked me. Yes, they of course thanked you. Asked if you wanted uh, guarding while you did this, or if they could go downstairs. They can go down. Okay, they're gonna head downstairs just as this fun conversation I'm typing up will happen. Cassie, uh, not Cassie, Chromie, Cassie will, uh, 
mentioned to you, yeah. So the guy at the two swords was asking about us if we were available for a job. I told him we were occupied and left it at that. He nodded and left us alone. <laughs> Anyhow. At this point, it's 11.02 p.m. I am tired. This wasn't even going to be a session, but it ended up being. The party has managed to mostly recover. We have it, and let me do a timeline here. Yeah, roughly 8.30 in the morning. Day 124. Vi in her room at Oasis, studying for one hour. Uh, party, if you wish to put any actions for next session in actions for the round, you can do it. We didn't have any combat tonight. Vassar, are you saying that to uh -huh. them? Because these people were kind of talking low, but it kind of carried. <laughs> I hear the typey typey. Yes. <laughs> Wait, did I get my spells back? No, you're actively praying at this moment. Or it's still like an hour out. You you took a horrible time to do that up. I'm sorry, that's how life do. Okay, perception checks for them. Huh. Vasa, they yeah. look over at your group for a second. And then back down to the map. Supply is ready, get party mounted up, and moving to the key. But I'm not even going to press under on that, it can just float there. Alright, if that's what you want to do at this point, party session is over. Vi, you are still praying for the hour. <laughs> like you're at the start of that prayer. Okay, uh, let's see, leave. Oh, party, no f combat this session, more of a recovery thingy. I hope you all enjoyed.